Welcome back. Hope everyone's having a good week so far. Got a uh, Smoke and uh, Steel League event. This is map one. This is CB, uh, the Corn Brigade, versus Sussy Brigade. Uh, let's see. First map is Cook's Countercharge. We have 137 on the attacking CS18 versus 145 on the Union. So slight imbalance, but not too bad there. So you're looking at the Union team. They've got 12th VA led by Wall Jackson. They've got CB led by Levi. Got 10th US led by Riley. CQB led by Bades. Looks like we got some long distance shooting already going Amazing. off here. I'll try to get through these quick here. We got 9th Corps yeah. led by Commissar. And FSB led by. I'm not positive. Who is leading FSB? I do apologize. Um, is it Lieutenant Pastor? I'm not positive. I do apologize. FSB 2 Corps led by Archer. Uh, let's see, looks like SP is led by Zapster, JD led by Remix, and 8th Alabama led by Goat, and MSG is also in here led by Captain Grime, I believe. Did I miss anybody? Oh, 9th Corps, I missed 9th Corps. Led by, I'm not sure who's leading 9th Corps. Again, without the ranks, it kind of throws me off. Um, might be, oh, Commissar, Commissar's leading, okay. All right, well, now that's done. Kind of zoom out here. Never have too much time. So it looks like a pretty sizable Union line here with one flank guard. Meanwhile, the CSA is split in two. Two are going through the corn, and it looks like two elements on the far Union right CSA left here. So we will see how that attack goes for them. I do like this extended picket line, although I would be careful about this flank out here that 12th VA has. Um... If a powerful CSA force emerges from the corn and hits them pretty hard, it could be a pretty big problem. They did put a couple guys on Artie. Um, CB with Archangel here, which is... It's a, it's a technique. They used to tell my... Lieutenants, it's a technique. See, the problem I would have with this formation is if they hit them on the side here, which is exactly what the CSA is doing, um, they could really get a twist on this force here and kind of roll up the flank. We'll see what Archer and Tukor does here. Fuck them up, boys. Take your shot. Nice and slow. You know, as I start putting... Uh, good job here, though, by Major Viceroy pulling back. If he stayed out there much longer, he would have gotten really hit hard. So good job in pulling back. Um, so, so far, nice uh, move there by 12th PA. They took some losses, but not nearly as much as they might have. They're down by the and we do have one isolated Union element out here, and that is Beige with the CQB. And he's going to fall back. He's going to be careful. If he gets engaged with this force, he'll get wiped out very quickly here. So... Here we got the CB Corn Brigade. I know it's not cinematic with the uh, with the flags on, but it helps me see how many casualties are actually going down in the corn. So won't do it too much once we get out of the corn. But while we're in there, it kind of helps seeing how many they're actually losing. And also getting an overall feel for the battle. Yeah, that pullback by 12th VA seems to have. Racing. Kind of um, stalled the CSA here a little bit, although it seems they're happy to shoot it out. They're getting sufficient tickets to make it worth their while, and in fact, 12th VA has to pull back a little bit further now. It's this CSA flank. Okay, well, now it's a new move here. You have this JD 8th Alabama element kind of moving towards the center here. They may be looking to get some flanking fire on the Union over this direction here. Meantime, you have the other elements kind of as a far flank guard, and you see that the um, CQB element is all the way on that far side now. No, it's I do not know why Union is maintaining person. anything on Artie. That is just silly. Huh? Now, they got great shots here for Remix here. Uh, but he's going to continue going forward. This... He's going to attempt to charge here. 
There is steam chat, and this is a coordinator tech. This is a problem, but you can see here, CB was waiting for him. Hold the line, boys! And there was not a coordinated charge by the CSA. There was not that, and you can see the Union line has held. I, I mean, you know, it was a decent assault using the concealment to kind of shield the approach, but the CB had spotted it, and they were waiting for him. Um, now there's another CSA element coming in now from the Sussy Brigade to try to wipe out what is left of the CB, and they mistakenly charged in and kind of gave up their strong position. You're gonna die here. Ah, you I'm gonna assume I didn't hear what I thought I heard. I'll have to do that on the playback. <laughs> This video is going to get a little bit delayed here. What time stamp we got? 38, 30. Need to space these flags. Everyone's just getting picked apart one by one. Now, even though CB got hit hard, you see the 10th U.S. has now Sergeant moved up Ballad, to support him. Music and you also have this element, well, it's mostly 10th U.S. is doing most of the fire here. Oh, I shot on that officer. And they've really contained this element here. I actually like those tunes, Sid, but... All right, so checking on the other side of the battlefield here, you got uh, CB reforming here, joined by CQB. But they're not really restraining this element here, which is 9th Corps. We'll see if they can uh, attempt to flank on this Union force here. Um, 36 minutes. Uh, Union has lost a decent amount of tickets. Um, they are still holding that hill, though, but I'm not sure for how much longer they can maintain it. As soon as you're in line, take aim. Nice little attack here by 9th Corps. Oh, but wait a second here. Here comes a CB out for revenge against 9th Corps. Well, not revenge, but getting back in the fight, charging right in. Um, I would have hit him with a volley before going in, to be honest with you. Um, you could have... I think that cost you more tickets than you needed. And you can see, even though that was successful... They have fallen behind on a morale state, so if they had lows, I'm not sure if they did, but I don't know why they wouldn't. Um, that was a little bit, uh, cost them a little bit. JD, shift right. I mean, shift left. JD, shift left. Let's go, boys. Northwest, JD. They got General Cody in there. JD, shift left. JD, shift left. JD, shift left. JD, shift left. Hey, Sunday, I see you at Hey there, Slim. <laughs> Let's go on back. Hey, I made it. We'll find him. Going to do a quick overhead view now that we're approaching the 30 minutes. You see that now the CSA has basically shot off the Union from that position. They've had to pull off. Now, there is a Union force here, pretty strong one here with 12 VA. Hold on my line, boys. Get into um, melee mode if you're ready. That are just below the hill, kind of doing a reverse slope here thing. But the rest of the Union has fallen back behind the point. You can see the CSA is kind of arrayed against them here. Uh, although we do have a movement up here. Let's see, who is this? CB and, well, Riley's going to position himself there. Here comes CB to reinforce the 12 VA. 
Stay with 30th, Abe. Get online with the officer. Get online. Get online, Abe. Get online. Help our brothers. Get on the line. Find a gap, fill a gap. Eighth, shift right at 30th. Eighth Ohio, right at 30th. I'm pretty sure the arm song I'll be alright with. I'll take that risk. Spread it out, three men, three men, spread it out, spread it out. Send in! Come on, boys, move it up! Good to know, this is so strong, boys. Oh, my God, boys, what you got? Let it boys! Fire them! Get it, boys! End low, end low, put them down! Get down, we got it, down! So 12 VA has now moved up now that they got support from CB. Let's see here. You do have a forward movement now by CQB. Let's see what Bades is thinking here. He does have an... He's got to watch out for these guys back here. They might be able to flank him. But he does have a decent opportunity to ambush the FSB over here. If he approaches through the... Uh, Bushes there, but I think he's going to get distracted by 8th Alabama here. And uh, Ms. Goat along with the MSG. And Union is at engaged at 33. Um, not good for the overall, you know, you know, victory, but this is not bad play so far by the Union. Um, I think I pointed out a few times where I think they got a little bit too over aggressive. Uh, not over aggressive, but those were good charges, but need to make sure you're killing them. Uh, before you're going in for those melees. Melees is where you lose a lot of your tickets. And you can see Bades is pulling back, which is, the, I think, the right decision there. Let's see what we got on this other side here. Oh, that definitely not. That will definitely get me copyrighted. Looks like they're going to attempt an attack here. It's a concentrated one this time. We've got two core moving up. So they are going to move for the hay bales and try to get on the Union flank. I think that is a good decision there. While well, they got a nice screen here by these elements here from two core. And ninth core, you see, Zeke, while that's going on, these elements here will be able to flank around. It's a nice little uh, fix in location, and then turn on them. We do have a response here from the Union. It is 10th U.S. going to come up here and try to secure the Union flank over here. Although they are not facing the right direction here, they're about to. Well, yeah, they need to put some units to uh, start watching this side over here. Boy, wonder, come on. Oh, I had to. And they're in a bit of a kill box right now. They didn't really assign any units to deal with that flank. And now, oh, who is this over here? Oh, CB, Ace, this guy get out of here. They are going to get isolated. That's exactly what's going to happen. You're going to get stuck in the open here. 30 minutes halfway down on engage for the Union, a little bit more. CSA, well above that. Uh, just hit engage now at the 30 minute mark. And they have now seized, we'll zoom out and kind of get the overall picture here. They have now seized the CSA right part of the field here, along with this hill position, and have just, and they also still have a nice threatening position over here. So you've got a nice arc kind of surrounding the Union, and we got a charge here by the CSA 
or maybe just a forward movement. Either way, let's see what we got. Look left. You have the Union charging up here. This may be a costly move by the Union. I don't know if they got the tickets for this at the moment. Pumpkin, 59th guys, get on this side of the fence. Go, 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 Eh, see how much this is costing the Union here. They're taking losses now at 28 minutes. Even though the Union's like, oh, we can win this charge, it's costing you a lot doing this. And getting into this close fight is exactly what the CSA wants. This is going to be very hard for the Union to recover from. And even here, you can see the CSA is going to, all they got to do is swing forward, and that's what they're doing. Who is this? Two core. Doing a good maneuver here, swinging forward, shooting him into the flank here. Now you've got him. Look at this kill box they've set up here. Intersecting lines of fire. They're not going to be able to stand up to this. So they're going to have to pull back. And as they retreat, they're going to get some nice skirmishing and out of line kills and just continue to melt the Union. Yeah, these two poor guys. Two, ten tickets right here as soon as they get killed. Or maybe not. Maybe they will... Uh, they might think they're on their team. I don't know. How you doing, Mac? You ready for this shit? Tell them we'll see what the fate of these two gentlemen are. You got a bayonet on that, Mac. Yep. Mr. Zapster. Executing those poor gentlemen. You see how far they are in tickets now. Now, you do have some isolated elements here. You do have, you know, FSB and MSG over here, which the Union could overwhelm if they uh, attacked them right now. Same thing with uh, this small element, which is 8th Alabama, out here. But um, you got to act quick if you want to do some maneuver like that, which, again, I think kind of shoot down and swallow up these units while the rest of the CSA is all the way over there. Try to make some of the ticket loss up, but uh, right now you just hang out and spawn, just turtle up. Uh, it's it's pretty much just over then. You just gonna you know maybe delay it by five minutes. That's all you gonna do. Yeah, we're doing just fine, boys. Look at our tickets. You gotta be careful about getting into melees like that. That's what does it, guys. That's what hurts you. I mean, sometimes you need to, but you know. You gotta, you gotta have a decisive win. You can't get, make it close, even if you win, if it's close. You know, it's not really worth it. And if you lost, it's really not worth it. Chunkus, is that you with the flag? See now the CSA, you can see what they've done here. With the exception of this unit out here, which I'm kind of curious who this is. Uh, 8th Ohio. Skirmishing out there. See how the rest of the Union is now consolidated in, into their, basically their spawn. CSA is now between their spawn and the point of contention. And they can shoot at them from multiple angles here. And this will just, it's just a matter of time at this point. Alright, Poppy. Wah! 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 Scooter, watch this, watch this. I need some parma- Why would you do it? What is- Oh my god, I'm finally back! I'm finally back! You guys have no idea what I went through! Hello, Timothy! Get ready! Oh, literally right next to you the dude. entire time. Just shut the heck up, normal person. You're gonna die, you're gonna die soon, Timothy. Just if I die, gonna... I will come to your house you're and gonna, I will you're shake your hand. Ah. You're gonna... Ah. I'm gonna get the fuck off the fence. Huh? Okay, sorry. Alright, grab those guys in the front. 
So this is what I would have done a little bit earlier, I think. Um, do a mass charge like this against an isolated unit. There's a lot more CSA over here now than there was previously. So it's going to cost you a lot more to do. I was gonna say, are we playing zombies right now? God dang. Oh. That was not a very good charge, no. <laughs> I gotta continue it forward, but, you know. Uh. Union uh, about even on tickets. I don't know if they're just trying to end the match at this point or what. Big, big group northeast, Archer. Big group northeast. Shoot them up, boys. They did take it out. They did take the side of the fence. It doesn't really give them anything. Lovely weather, isn't it? Defilated to me. Right here, we got defilated. Independent fire! That's the knee, guys. Open fire, northwest. Down the road, boys. Northwest, we got targets. Big group. Give me smoke, boys. Give me smoke. New one. New line, boys. Shift it back. New line, guys. Shift back, twin banners. Once we fired, it said. North, northwest. North, northwest, boys. They're charging them out. They're charging them out. Oh, the. Oh, right here, thirty yards. Get it in. Get it in. Get it in. Get it low. Get your man out. Get low. They're pre-capping. They're pre-capping, boys. Oh, they got shot. They got shot. Uh, yeah, I mean, this will be about it. Yep, there it is. And it's, it's over. Let's go! They can charge now, but I'll, they'll, they'll make it in time. Charge! Charge! And that is it. Game is over. Um, this is a tough match for the, uh, Union, to be sure, but, uh, the CSA really stomped them. Um... Good play, good discipline play, good use of, you know, seizing one position, consolidating, seizing the next position, and just squeezing the Union in. Union really didn't have an answer for it. So, uh, we'll see if I can upload this. I uh, hope I can. Um, I checked that one thing at the 39, 38 minute mark. And, um, yeah, you guys still owe me a uh, <laughs> code of conduct, so. Uh, but yeah, cool battle lines, good to see. Enjoyed that. This one is a tough map for uh, Union. Uh, I think we have Garland's next, so we'll see how that goes. So that is one victory so far for the um, God. SB.